Imagine you're walking through the world and the sky blackens around you. You start hearing voices scream in the distance. That's when you know a zone wide event's coming. You better get some friends, you better get some people you don't even know, and you better be prepared for this. One of the most exciting things about Rift is that in addition to all of the static content that people are used to from other games, there's new types of things to do no matter where you go. Whenever you talk about dynamic content, you're talking about individual events that happen throughout the world, but everybody's waiting for that one that ties the entire world together. You've seen rifts and you've seen small-scale invasions, but a zone-wide event literally takes over the entire zone. We're talking hundreds of players together. And then we have hundreds of NPCs and tons of rifts open. I mean, just the whole sky goes crazy. I mean, just all hell breaks loose. So it is very important for us to listen to our players, and we absolutely do. People said, we'd really love an open grouping system so we can get together in these raids a lot quicker. And that's exactly what we did. When you finally, you know, you reach the biggest things in the game, you see a Colossi, you're not going to think this is a solo encounter, this is something I can do alone. You're going to want to run back town, you're going to want to grab everybody you can, you're all going to want to jump on that thing together. We are offering dynamic content in a way that no other game is because we are giving players direct control. Ancient Wardstones are like a content pinata. This is your way to interact with the world and drive the game and make it do what you want it to do. The most immediate impact the player is going to see is going to be in the quest hubs themselves. Doing the quest, upgrade the hub. By turning on one of the Ancient Wardstones for your faction, you are turning it off for them. It's a really fun part of the system. You get to go over there, blow up the other guy's Wardstone, and then take it for yourself. I get new content, I get new loot. You've hit Cap, you've done a tons of rifts, you've seen the mechanics of them evolve over time, you've fought back a thousand invasions and killed every footholder you can see on the map. So what do you do now? What we want you to do is we want you to go find the expert rifts and the raid rifts. Not only are the rifts bigger themselves, but the types of things and the number of mechanics and objects that we're spawning in, it's just magnified. So while we require sort of an elite crew, we also want to make sure that anybody else shows up when they see these things in the world can help out, can help the fight, can jump in and still get the contribution rewards they've been accustomed to getting. Our reward system is based on performance, it's based on effort, it's a, it's a forgiving system meant to reward you for playing, uh, but not to punish you for being outside of the radius when the event completes or dying because you're the first to try to tank and nobody's healing you. The best reward you get out of our dynamic content is the planar focus. And this is essentially an item which has this number of slots associated with it, and you're going to be able to get essences from doing planar content. They can power up abilities you already have or give you new abilities. We wanted to put that middle M back into MMO. We're making a triple A MMO here, and we're doing things that nobody else is doing. It's not the world playing itself. It's not interactions between various systems. It's you. So when you take all these new types of things to do, and you put them all together, that's when you know. This is Rift.